What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to talk to you about Trayvax wallets. Let me start off by saying I'm not being paid to say this in any way, shape, or form. I have no ties to the company Trayvax. It's just a product that I've been using for a long time now. And everywhere I go, I talk about it because I just like them so much. So with that being said, this is the original Trayvax wallet. I found the company that started making these back in about 2013 on Kickstarter. The founder of the company, Mark King's original goal was to create something that cut down on plastic bag waste. Long story short, it turned into them creating these really awesome wallets. So Mark used to machine and powder coat these all by hand, and then I'm pretty sure that's where the Kickstarter came from, which has allowed their company to expand to what they are today. Another great thing about these wallets, they're made right here in the US. Before I jump in and show you the new wallet, let me show you how some of these older ones work. So these are the three Trayvax wallets that I own. Over here you have the original, this in the middle is a Summit, and this is the Element. It still kind of blows my mind that in 2016, people are still carrying wallets that look like this. Because you end up getting receipts and papers and change and all sorts of junk and you throw it in there. It's just stuff that you don't need to carry with you. On a typical day, I carry about eight cards between my IDs, my credit cards and whatnot. And then just a couple bills folded up. So the way the original works is just a sandwich style construction between two pieces of metal. You undo the strap in the back and adjust it accordingly to how many cards you're gonna carry. So I'll take my eight cards, slide them in there. For the cash, I have like four bills here. Those can just be folded into thirds and then slip right in the back. Pull everything tight and that's it. When you pull your wallet out to use it, if you wanna get to a specific card, you just loosen the strap in the back, thumb through until you get to a card that you want and then pull that card out. I carried this original wallet for probably about a year and obviously you can tell it's still in really great condition. And then I switched to the Summit. The Summit's one of their cheapest models and it's actually really, really nice. This is about as minimalist as you get, but you can still hold pretty much the same as any of these wallets. Here again are my eight cards. Slip it right in the slot. On the back, I have the four bills. You can slide it right under that little piece of metal and that's it. I carried this wallet for maybe six months or so, and then that's when I found the Element. So this is the black Element in tobacco brown. However, it looks a little more like King in red to me. I'm not sure if the order was messed up, but regardless, I still carried this thing for the past six months, and I love it. The way this works is you pop open the leather strap and adjust it for how many cards you're gonna hold. Again, the same eight cards and the same four bills. In the back here, there's a little bit of a money clip type of thing. You just slip the bills right under there, fold the leather back over, snap it closed. So what's good about these wallets is that not only are they really minimal, is that the parts and everything that's used is all sourced from America and everything is really high quality. I've never had to send back a wallet for repair or anything of that nature. However, after reading some of the comments on their Facebook and other social media, it seems like if you ever run into any issues with any of these products, I'm pretty sure they're gonna take care of you. They do make another model called the Axis, which I actually don't have. However, it seems like it's kind of a combination of all of these. So that brings us to their newest product, Trayvax Contour. Trayvax announced this wallet a couple months ago, and instead of using Kickstarter this time, they went through Indiegogo. I believe they needed some funding for new machines to CNC all the parts for this wallet. So of course, I was one of the first people to back it. Since today, I believe they've only shipped out 100 of these so far, so this is probably gonna be one of the first videos on this wallet. Let's see what's in the box. First comes with a note from Mark King. Feel free to pause this if you wanna read it. And then you have the wallet. This one is similar to the Element where it uses metal and leather construction. This one's just a little bit more refined and I think I'm gonna like this one a lot more. As you saw in the box, it comes with a torque wrench and extra screws. And that's actually to fine tune the fitment of this wallet depending on how many cards or how much cash that you're carrying. So let's load this one up. Using the same eight cards again and the four bills. So the first thing that I can note about this is how well it's constructed. It's gonna be hard to tell through a video, but the tolerance and construction materials on this thing are top notch. I'm not sure what type of metals and what type of leather is used in their wallets, but you can find all that information on their website. 
Oh yeah, another thing I forgot to mention is that mostly all of their wallets can be used as a bottle opener, as you can see right here. On the original, you have a bottle opener right here. On the element, you have one right here on the inside. It's just nice to have. What came in the wallet is a card from Mark saying that if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, do not hesitate to contact him. So like I said, they really take care of their customers at Trayvax. So that's really all I had for this video. I just wanted to show you guys the unboxing of this and just let you know about this company because like I said, I've used all their products and I can't say enough good things about them. If you have any questions or you want to pick one of these up for yourself, I'll leave the links down in the description as always. And I actually don't believe this is available yet. This is still only being shipped out to their crowdfunders. So maybe in the next month or so, you'll be able to pick one of these up on their website. This video is a little bit different from what I normally do here on this channel. A lot of people tell me that I buy lots of gadgets and a lot of interesting stuff, so I figured I'd do a video on it. And if you liked it, let me know. I can do some more in the future. So that's all for now. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one.